Hi hey everybody, uh, John Coffey here again. I've decided to start a video series where I review all of the exploitation films in my collection in alphabetical order. And uh, I'm going to start out with uh, this one right here. It's a favorite of mine. It's a great showcase of New York City at the time it was made. And that is Frank Hennenlauter's Basket Case from 1981. And uh, Frank and Henlauder would go on to direct all the Basket Case sequels, which there's three of them. He would also direct Frank and Hooker and uh, Brain Damage and a new one called Bad Biology, which I have not got a chance to see it, but hopefully soon. But this movie is about Dwayne, played by, I never know how to pronounce this guy's name, Kevin Van Hickenright, I think that's his name. And he goes to New York City and you know, he's carrying a wicker basket. And he finds an apartment, a cheap apartment, pretty much looking the scummiest apartment he finds. And he's carrying around wads of cash, and everybody's thinking this guy's just a bizarre dude. And in this wicker basket he's carrying with him is his deformed brother, twin brother, Bilal, which is this little creature right there on the cover. And uh, they're in New York City to get revenge on the veterinarians at the time. I believe they were veterinarians. Some of them are doctors. I think one's a doctor and one's a veterinarian. Who separated them by the, his dad's wishes, even though they didn't want to be separated. And uh, this is an amazing, awesome movie. It's got a good mix between sleaze and just fun exploitation. There's some good blood and gore, which is, you know, always a good thing. And it came out of pretty much the best era for horror films, in my opinion, which is 1981. Everything came out in 1981. Everything. It was amazing. But, uh, Hillwater has a knack for shooting New York City. Uh, it, you know, he captures that 42nd Street vibe so well in this film. And, uh, Kevin Van Hickenwright does a great job at, as Dwayne. And when he's talking to Blau, you never once question the fact that Blau's alive because of him, because he does such a good job, which is amazing for no one else in this movie acts for the crap, but you look over that. But Hickenwright, he's amazing in this film. He's good in all the Basket Case films, which got really cheesy. There's some things about this movie that make it a little infamous. One, you know, of course, Blau. And, uh, the Blau effects, some people are going to find it super cheesy, and some people like me will just love it. It's a fun, fun movie. And probably the most infamous scene in this movie, well, the two most infamous scenes in this movie, is the face full of, I can't remember if it was syringes or, like, scalpels. I can't remember which one it was, but that's a great scene. And the rape scene in this movie, yes, Blau... The no-legged, just a hay with arms monster rapes a woman in this movie. It has to be seen to be believed. And, uh, I'm not going to give much more away about it, or who gets what and what happens, but, you know, definitely want to check out Basic Case. This is the Something Weird video release of it. And, uh, I'm going to be brutally honest with this DVD. It's cheap. So, you know, you're going to want to pick it up because it's cheap. And it's got some pretty good special features on it. It's got commentary. It's got trailers. It's got outtake. It's got behind the scenes footage. It's got some cool stuff in it. But there could be more. There could be a making of documentary. And the transfer. Yeah, the transfer straight from a VHS tape. I'm pretty sure. Because <laughs> it's real, real bad. But, I don't know, that kind of lends itself to a movie like this. But if you're in, if you're into the New York sleazy stuff, Baz Case is your movie. Love this film. And check out all Hen Lauder stuff. They all have the same vibe. I'm, I'm really looking forward to his new one, Bad Biology. Yeah, this is the something weird release of it. Hopefully one day there'll be a better edition of this film. I'd like to see a remastered version. I mean, I don't think it'd ever look great, but... It would be nice to see a better version of it. Yep, yeah, check out Basket Case and uh, keep tuning in because I'm going to review 
every exploitation film in my collection. So, keep checking back, especially for an exploitation fan. We're not the first.